Smartphones can be great for passing time or finding answers to nagging questions, but all that time spent looking at your phone can be a real pain in the neck. Jacqueline Allen explains text neck. Sarah Atchison texts with the best of them. I always look down at my phone. But looking down at her smartphone often for hours at a time left the 14 year old with a pain in her neck. It was mostly just achy and it made it really hard to concentrate. It's called text neck. Text neck is where the proper curve in the cervical spine actually gets reduced and can even move forward. A good curve is ideally 40 degrees, but these x-rays show a very different story. This should be shaped like the red line, but this um, girl has lost that neck curve and it has moved to a classic reverse curve or, or a text neck. Dr. Chad Cotter with Health Source Chiropractic is helping Sarah reverse damage that used to take decades to develop. Tension across the shoulders, generalized neck pain, migraines. Um, it can even be numbness and tingling down the arms that we're seeing in high schoolers. It's alarming. It's setting those kids up to having major problems as adults. Kids don't know how to explain it to their parents. They don't know how to express it correctly. And so parents discount what their kids are saying until it becomes a big problem. Make sure as you're walking that you touch your heel and your toe together. Using head weights, shoulder exercises, resistance bands, and readjustments. There we go. Dr. Cotter and his team work to strengthen Sarah's neck and back muscles. He says these treatments, if done properly, can quickly counteract the symptoms of smartphone use and alleviate texting tension. Your head weighs about 12 pounds, but when you tilt it just to a 30-degree angle, that weight feels more like 40 pounds on your neck.